Hello everyone, and welcome back to the old stream farm. As you can see in the background, I do have the harvester set off on field 2, which is our canola field. So, he is tipping away on that, like we had originally set off to do in the end of the last episode. So, he's going to finish that off. We do have ducks and chickens now, which is uh, very weird to me, because I don't think I've ever seen ducks in FS22. And there's little tiny chicks running around. Little baby chickens. But, yeah, they're fed. We do have to make sure the pigs are kept fed. Which, they only have 800 litres of food. And they have a big pile of manure in there. Something needs to be sorted. So, yeah, I'm going to have to run up to the store and get some feed bags. Because we won't have, our corn won't be ready to make some food. So I'll have to buy some more feed bags. And we also have to bring the harvester over to field 26 to harvest that. And then we... Actually, don't have to bail this because we don't have straw on. But we could have to bail field 5. I actually can't remember if we've done it or not. We've already done it. Okay, so we just have to clear them off. Okay, it's been a little while since I've been on this map. So, right, without further ado, we'll get into McCormack. We'll hook up to the low loader trailer and we shall head up and get... Um, as much bags as we can fit, possibly eight bags on the back. Not the first better. So let's head on up and get some pig feed to start. We really don't need them going starving because we need them to fatten up and we need to bring them to the slaughterhouse. So we do have a slaughterhouse mod on this map. I have not used yet. But let's head on up to the shop. Our corn feed looking very nice. That one and the one just behind it. So that is our two cornfields for maize. We obviously will be making, not maize silage, but we will be using them for corn. And I think we need the corn, canola, and some wheat. I think. I'll have to double check to make the pig feed. Because we do have a, a fodder mixer that we make our own pig feed. So that should be quite interesting to use as well. So I think it's just corn and canola or maybe wheat as well. We actually have a slurry tank up here too, which we do need to bring down at some stage. Which I forgot about. But let's just jump in. Actually, we'll just check the fodder mixer. It should be here. So yeah, it is wheat. It's corn, wheat, and canola. One of each, and it makes three pig feed. So obviously we have to start dumping it in. So we get pig feed out of it. We can make uh, seeds out of this as well. Uh, if we just put water, I think it's water anyway, and whatever we want grain in. And we get that back. And then this is the slaughterhouse mod, which we haven't got a chance to do yet. But, yeah, let's head on and get some pig feed. It's only 900 a bag, so yeah, I'd say we probably need the 8. It's going to take a nice chunk of our money, but we really can't afford to let them go hungry. So, we will actually just lower that. No. Very high on the front. We are on the way out with our pig feed. So let's get them fed. Right. Into the John Deere. And we can take both pallet forks on because we're going to do that. And then we can drop them off. And we do have to clear out the manure because they do have a lot of manure. Yeah, we need to top these up before they get too low. Yeah, we lift four bags. It's fair heavy on the poor little front wheel. Let's go. Thank God we have the bit of a weight block on the back. Yeah, there we go. Get that food brought back up because we really need it. We have wheat to give to them, so that's not a problem. But yeah, we need to really make sure these are up on feed. A lot of slurry as well, so yeah. And hope, since we have the slurry spreader, we can hopefully spread some slurry 
maybe in the next episode on field 5 we have enough to that field yeah I think I'll give them all 8 bags just because I really don't want them starving and going hungry because then they lose health which is not good at all Thing off, and we can start scooping out some manure. I'm keeping an eye on the harvester level, the fill level, it's on 75%, 76. So, yeah, we don't want that to run low, obviously, or run too high and stop. I do have the Renault up there with the trailer on it, so we can just empty it out. But I'd say he's actually, yeah, I'd say he's nearly done. So, we would have to set him off on a Field 26, I think it is. The new field we bought. We'll have to do that as well. I really could. I really would love a little skid steer to get in and over here. Great. And here we go. Finally have everything set up. The pigs are emptied. The harvester was moved. I had to get the header and stuff on the McCormack. Bring the header to it. Are not on the road. But that's the canal in our silo. So I'll bring this down because obviously he's already seven, nearly 7% seven full. It's a double fertilized wheat field and wheat is a very dense crop so like it's yields very very well so we'll get this down we'll try unload them and then we can clear some of the straw bales off of field 5 and yeah so going well it's a bit of a difficult field to get into i actually took me a few minutes to try and figure out how to get the harvester in but yeah i managed it's uh definitely a field i've never used before so i'd like to buy another field or two that i haven't played on this map before uh, he's blocked by an object Whatever that is, I have no idea, but I'm sure we will see if we can get up the hill. Trailer that is empty. I did see this thing coming up with a full trailer. Yeah, I think he's still blocked. He's not um, doing anything. He's moving. He's doing 10 kilometers an hour, so whatever. Uh, anyway, we shall fly up here. And we take a right just after this building here to make a big swing because of these signs but big swing like that and around yeah and that's how we get in to the field so where is he oh he's driving around in circles is he is he unblocked by an object yet yeah I think he is uh, he also should be on the second headland, so he might be. The pipe should be out the far side, so we should be able to play around. He missed some there. Let's try and catch him. He's on 82%, so. I have it set that the combine stops, so yeah, fair enough. We can unload the wheat. So I'm kind of glad he got himself back going again. So hopefully he'll finish the wheat field. It is an odd shaped field, but I'll get that corner anyway. And yeah. Not doing too bad. We'll clear off some of those straw bales. We'll be doing good. We should be away. Absolutely perfect. We have 33%, so that's fine. We can head back to the John Deere. Um, we may attach the bale spikes. 
much are in here. We can bring back some bales of straw. I'm not sure what way the pigs are actually for straw. They have none. So yeah, let's definitely bring back some and we need to put that on the back of the Valtra and probably put in a bale. Oh, let's get them all drawn back in. More. Um, we still have three, so. We should be getting a good bit of straw as well off of the field 26. So I'm hoping we'll have enough straw for the pigs. But again, it's not the end of the world for running with straw because it's not required as feed like they are, like straw beds are with cattle. Because you need the uh, token extraction. But because we don't need that, we should have enough just to last for bedding. And like I said, if it runs out, it's the end of the world because they still produce slurry. It's just the manure we lose out on, which in the end, end of the world. So we'll get these brine, and we'll see how far the guy is with the harvester. Nice. Two. And we're we'll going to get one more and we hopefully just chuck it into the straw shredder and blow it in across the pig pen. We line that up, she should slot in. It's pretty. Yeah, something like that. It doesn't really fit in. But yeah. It should still register a shred. So. Yeah, she's registering as in. Which is what we want. Let's blow the straw in. There we go. All sorted. So, that's all I have time for. We're going to have to end the episode here and we finish off that straw in the other field in the next episode. And hopefully we can skip on and maybe do... We have a wheat field here to do as well. Not mistaken, I will double check. Uh, yep, there's a wheat field here. It's the L-shaped field. It's sort of cow pasture used to be, but I obviously got rid of it. So that needs to be done in the next in-game month. Yeah, it's dark green. And yeah, he will be done this. So he's actually blocked by the tractor there because he's doing like sideways. He's not going... You can see the line he's going here. It's not dead straight up and down. So he's probably trying to turn on my tractors in the way. But we can continue him on in the next episode. So if you enjoyed, please hit like, please hit subscribe. And please leave a comment and... Go check out my roleplay, and I also have a multiplayer server that me and my friends are playing on. Please go check that out as well. I have a couple of videos up on that. But yeah, I'm going to leave it here. I know it's a bit of an abrupt ending, but I'm in a barber's hurry to get somewhere. So uh, it was just, I also had to get this out for Friday because I believe I missed last Friday or Friday before. Um, I'm struggling to get videos recorded for this, so I'm trying my best. So do forgive me. But like I said, if you enjoyed, please hit, please hit subscribe. Let me know you like the content. And I will catch you guys in the next episode of the Old Stream Farm. Goodbye.